Have you ever wondered what it feels like to lose control over your body, even if just for a moment? Today, we're diving into the world of epilepsy, a neurological condition that affects more than 50 million people globally. Epilepsy, often misunderstood and surrounded by stigma, is more than just a series of seizures. It represents a spectrum of brain disorders ranging from severe, life-threatening and disabling to ones that are much more benign. Contrary to popular belief, epilepsy is not a mental illness, nor is it contagious. It's a neurological disorder caused by abnormal electrical activity in the brain, leading to recurrent seizures. People with epilepsy come from all walks of life, and it can occur at any age. Here's another thing to remember. Epilepsy is not a rare disease. It's more common than Parkinson's, multiple sclerosis, autism, and cerebral palsy combined. Epilepsy is more than just a seizure disorder. It's a complex neurological condition that affects millions of people worldwide. So what causes this intricate neurological disorder? Let's delve into this question and explore the various factors that could potentially trigger epilepsy. Firstly, genetics can play a significant role. Just like the color of our eyes, our susceptibility to certain diseases including epilepsy can be passed down through generations. Scientists have identified more than 500 genes that could be linked to epilepsy, but it's important to keep in mind that having these genes doesn't necessarily mean you'll develop the disorder. It just means that the odds might be slightly stacked against you. Then, we have brain injuries. A traumatic brain injury, like a severe blow to the head, can disrupt the normal functioning of our brain cells, leading to seizures. It's not just immediate injuries that we need to be wary of. Delayed seizures can occur months or even years after the injury. Next, let's talk about strokes. A stroke happens when the blood supply to a part of your brain is interrupted or reduced, depriving brain tissue of oxygen and nutrients. This can lead to brain damage, which in turn can trigger seizures and potentially cause epilepsy. Infections that affect the brain, such as meningitis or encephalitis, can also be culprits. These infections can cause inflammation and damage to the brain, setting the stage for seizures. It's also worth noting that in many cases, the cause of epilepsy remains a mystery. This is referred to as idiopathic epilepsy. Despite extensive medical testing, no definitive cause can be found in about half of all cases. This doesn't mean that these individuals are any less susceptible to seizures, it simply means that the root cause remains hidden. This might seem daunting, but remember, Understanding the causes is the first step towards managing and potentially preventing this disorder. Despite the unknowns, medical advancements continue to shed light on this puzzling condition. It's a journey of discovery and every step brings us closer to a world where epilepsy can be better understood, managed, and maybe one day even cured. Now that we know what might cause epilepsy, how can we recognize it? When it comes to epilepsy, the symptoms can vary greatly between individuals, making it a bit of a chameleon in the world of neurological disorders. One of the most common symptoms is seizures, but not all seizures look the same. Some people may experience dramatic convulsions where they lose consciousness, fall to the ground and their body jerks and twitches. This is what most people think of when they hear the word seizure, but it's not the only type. Some seizures may be barely noticeable. A person could experience a brief loss of awareness where they seem to zone out for a few seconds. They might stop in mid-sentence or stare blankly into space. This type of seizure, called an absence seizure, can be so subtle that it can often be mistaken for daydreaming or a lack of attention. Similarly, some people might experience unusual sensations or changes in their behavior, mood, or mental function. This could include experiencing unusual smells or tastes, having a sudden feeling of fear or anxiety, or even having deja vu. These are often signs of focal seizures, which occur when epileptic activity is limited to one part of the brain. Then there are tonic-clonic seizures, previously known as grand mal seizures. These can cause a loss of consciousness, body stiffness, shaking, and sometimes loss of bladder control or biting the tongue. The symptoms can also include post-seizure symptoms. After a seizure, the person may feel tired or sleepy, have a headache, or have difficulty speaking or thinking clearly. These are known as postictal symptoms. Remember, epilepsy is different for everyone. What one person experiences might not be the same for another. It's important to be aware of these symptoms, but also to understand that they can vary. Recognizing these symptoms is the first step towards effective management of epilepsy. Knowledge is power, and in this case, the power to understand, empathize, and ultimately help those living with this complex condition. 
Epilepsy might be a lifelong condition, but it doesn't have to control your life. There are several treatment options available that can help manage the symptoms of epilepsy and improve quality of life. Firstly, there are medications known as anti-epileptic drugs or AEDs. These are often the first line of treatment for people with epilepsy. They don't cure epilepsy, but they can reduce the frequency and severity of seizures. It's important to remember that everyone is different and what works for one person might not work for another. Therefore, finding the right medication and dosage can be a process of trial and error under the guidance of a healthcare professional. In some cases, when medication isn't effective, surgery may be considered. This is usually an option for people who have seizures that always originate in the same place in the brain and do not respond to medication. The type of surgery will depend on the part of the brain where seizures start. Some procedures remove a small area of the brain, while others interrupt the nerve pathways through which seizure impulses travel within the brain. Another treatment option is a special diet, known as the ketogenic diet. This high-fat, low-carbohydrate diet has been found to reduce seizures in some people, especially children with certain types of epilepsy. It's not entirely clear why this diet works, but it's thought to involve a change in the way the body uses energy. Apart from these, lifestyle changes can also play a significant role in managing epilepsy. Regular exercise, stress management techniques, and getting enough sleep can all help to reduce the frequency and severity of seizures. One important thing to note is the value of individualized treatment plans. Each person's epilepsy is unique, so what works for one person might not work for another. A healthcare professional can help devise a treatment plan that's tailored to the individual's specific needs and circumstances. With the right treatment, people with epilepsy can lead fulfilling lives. Remember, epilepsy is a condition you have. It does not define who you are. And with the right treatment and support, you can still do the things you love and live life to the fullest. Living with epilepsy may seem daunting, but it's far from impossible. It's about finding balance, understanding your body, and creating a lifestyle that works for you. The first step in managing epilepsy is maintaining a regular sleep schedule. Disrupted sleep patterns can increase the frequency of seizures, so it's crucial to prioritize restful, uninterrupted sleep. The next step is identifying and avoiding triggers. Triggers vary from person to person, but common ones include stress, flashing lights, and certain types of foods or medications. Keep a journal to track potential triggers, noting when seizures occur and what was happening beforehand. This will help you identify patterns and make the necessary adjustments. Beyond managing physical health, it's equally important to focus on emotional well-being. Epilepsy can lead to feelings of isolation, anxiety, and depression. But remember, you're not alone. Reach out to loved ones for support, share your experiences and fears, and let them know how they can help. Support groups can also be an invaluable resource. They provide a safe space to connect with others who understand what you're going through. They can offer practical advice, share their personal experiences, and provide emotional support. You can find these groups online or in your local community. Also, remember to keep an open line of communication with your healthcare provider. They can guide you in managing epilepsy, adjusting your treatment plan as needed, and addressing any concerns or questions you may have. Lastly, don't let epilepsy limit you. Yes, it's a part of your life, but it's not your entire identity. You are more than your diagnosis. With the right management strategies and support system, you can lead a fulfilling, active life. Remember, you're not just living with epilepsy, you're living full stop. You're experiencing, learning, growing, loving. You're navigating the world in your unique way, carving out a space for yourself and making a mark that's entirely your own. So keep going, keep striving, keep living. Because epilepsy is a part of your life, but it doesn't define who you are. We've covered a lot of ground today, haven't we? We've journeyed through the world of epilepsy, starting from understanding its causes such as genetic influence, brain conditions, and infectious diseases, amongst others. Then, we moved on to recognizing its symptoms, which can range from temporary confusion to uncontrollable shaking. We explored the various treatment options available, including medication, surgery, and therapies like the ketogenic diet or vagus nerve stimulation. We also delved into what it's like to live with epilepsy, discussing the importance of maintaining a healthy lifestyle, regular medical checkups, and the invaluable role of a strong support system. Epilepsy is indeed a complex condition, characterized by an array of symptoms and requiring different treatment approaches. However, the key takeaway from our discussion is that with the right knowledge, consistent medical care, and a supportive community, 
it can be managed effectively. Remember, epilepsy is a complex condition, but with knowledge and support, it can be managed effectively. Stay informed, stay strong, and above all, never lose hope.